Uh, tonight we're giving you an in-depth look at the technology behind high-altitude balloons, the same kind that nearly caused an international crisis between the U.S. and China. A company in South Dakota works closely with the government to develop and deploy those balloons. Investigative reporter Jonah Kaplan explains what experts call the next frontier in aviation. 300 miles southwest of Minneapolis, in the open space of South Dakota. It's all right, we have the technology. These scientists oh, and engineers are about to test one of the most significant breakthroughs in stratospheric aviation. This balloon will spend up to five months in the air at an altitude of 70,000 feet. So you're up above the weather at that altitude, so there's no air traffic, you don't have any of the weather patterns, the jet stream. But now there's the technology to navigate it, a game changer, according to the team leader, Jim Nelson. So here is our altitude control system. As soon as you can adjust your altitude, now you can find the winds you're looking for and adjust to that wind and then going in a different direction. The Sioux Falls, South Dakota-based Aerostar is the leading stratospheric balloon company in the United States, and it's a key partner of NASA and the U.S. Department of Defense. For decades, high-flying balloons weren't even on the public's radar, but that changed in February when President Joe Biden ordered the military to shoot down four unidentified balloons penetrating U.S. airspace, including one over Lake Huron. How many balloons does Aerostar have up in a year? So we probably launch about 100 balloons a year. And that's military, and that's civilian, and that's weather, and... It's commercial, yep, and for our own internal research and development, just kind of across that board, and, and we only see that accelerating as we move forward. According to the Chinese government, one balloon shot down off the coast of South Carolina was a weather balloon that veered off course. U.S. officials, however, not buying it, and instead reporting the balloon carried surveillance equipment. There's lots of variation in At the... Aerostar, project manager Sarah Van Huysen describes a threefold purpose to its fleet, connect, protect, and save lives. Over Puerto Rico, after the Hurricane Maria devastated the island's infrastructure, uh, we used a constellation of balloons to build back up cellular networks for people. So we had a constellation of balloons continuously over the island for several months. In Afghanistan, uh, aerostats, which are tethered balloons provided by Aerostar, were kind of a, a tower in the sky over uh, military bases. It had, they had radars, communication systems, uh, and threat deterrents. We're not, we're not doing surveillance of U.S. citizens. Another balloon in production right now will carry thermal imaging cameras to help firefighters during the summer wildfire season. NASA, meanwhile, deploying this 800-foot Aerostar balloon to carry a telescope that just sent back these images. 800 feet. Yes, yeah, so you're talking 60 million cubic feet. So you could take the Superdome and put it inside the balloon. Take target field and fit it inside the balloon very easily. It's just that massive of a balloon, and you can take uh, 5,000 pounds to 150,000 feet. What, what is the message to, to people at home who are now just being completely overwhelmed by learning about this? Yeah, I'd say first is to, to not be worried about, uh, about this coming in. It's, it's like anything new of getting into space, getting into aviation, is, it's in its early stages. And there are so many positive things that you can do with a balloon uh, with such a lower environmental impact. Um, you know, there's, it's really opening up a new era for aviation. In Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Good luck to everybody. Jonah Kaplan, WCCO News. Despite the company's headquarters being in South Dakota, Aerostar's roots reached the Twin Cities. The founders worked at General Mills Applied Sciences Division before breaking off and starting their new company.